Hello, my lovely people. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Jeannie. If you are new here, this is Sip Slips and Makeup Tricks. Here we do Boxy Charm and Ipsy, makeup looks, makeup and skincare reviews, makeup hauls, and I also do monthly giveaways. My September giveaway is open right now. So if you're new here and you would like your chance to win my September giveaway or you just want to see what my giveaways look like, I will link that September giveaway video in the description box below. And then all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment on that video and you will have your entry for the September giveaway. So for today's video, I am so excited. I got my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of September. Now, if you saw my unbagging for the regular glam bag for the month of September, I got a completely different bag than what I was supposed to get. The only thing that was correct in my bag was my add-on, and I was grateful for that, but I had literally, it was a totally different bag than what I was supposed to get. So I did email Ipsy. It was the middle of the night when I emailed them, and by the next morning when I woke up, I had something in my inbox, an email telling me that they were sending me out a replacement bag, and I would get tracking information within 15 days. So at least they have really good customer service. You cannot be mad at that. But here I have the Glam Bag Plus. This one costs $25, and you get five full-size bags items just like BoxyCharm, but the only difference here is you get to customize three and you also get to see everything that you're going to get before it arrives at your house. I also do have quite a few add-ons. Normally, I don't do Ipsy add-on. I do BoxyCharm add-on and pop up because the sales and the prices are better, in my opinion, but there was a few things that I really wanted, so I do have some add-on in here as well, and we are just going to jump on in and see what I got, and we're going to try out all the products that we can try as well. That is why I do not have a full face of makeup on. But as always, first we'll go through all the products, then we will use the products. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm wearing, by the way, your girl went shopping today and Marshalls, my Marshalls right up the road was stocked full of Halloween and fall things. This is so cute. It is literally a one-piece bodysuit like form fitting all the way with a cute matching headband. I actually plan on wearing this trick or treating with my kids. It's got like a little cheetah pumpkin on it. And my youngest um, child, my daughter, who is one, she turned one in August, is going to be a little cheetah for Halloween. So I thought this would be super cute to wear. And I tried it on when I got home and it is so cute and extremely comfortable. So I just ended up not taking it off. And that is why I look like this. So if you're a mom, you probably get it. Like I just didn't even think to change for my video. But anyhow, let's just jump on into why we're here. The Ipsy bag. Boy, I am like, I always, every time I start a video, I feel like my blood pressure goes up a little bit. It must be like a nerve thing. And then I start sweating. But anyhow, <laughs> that's my problem, not yours. So just like the Ipsy Glam, do I have the Glam bag right here? It's very similar, but it's like the little Santa bag instead. And this bad boy is jam full of goodies. So let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm trying to remember what is Ipsy and what is Add-on. I know for 100% sure this is Ipsy. It is East 29th and it is a hyaluronic acid serum. So if you have been following me for any amount of time, you know that I love getting skincare in my boxes, but I'm going to be honest with you. At this point, my skincare collection is looking like the skincare aisle at TJ Maxx. Like, ugh. let's just open it up. I, I suck at boxes. I'm just going to rip it open. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey, if you haven't yet, grab a drink, grab a snack, because this is going to be a video. We're going to go through everything. We're going to try stuff on. And also, I do not promote underage drinking at all. I'm 36 years old, and I do not promote alcoholism. I do promote mommy time. So I have my me time glass, one glass of healthy red wine, and we're playing in makeup. So I just thought I would add that in. But this is what it looks like. It is a glass bottle with a dropper. And I'll be honest, I have never heard of this brand, but we're going to try it out. It has a light chlorine smell almost. Yeah, it almost smells like cleaner. 
I'm going to look it up. I love my skincare products, but I'll be honest, I really don't know much about this brand. So we'll try it out. We'll look it up and we'll try it out. I have dry skin, so I love serums. Next in line, we have Sweet Chef Turmeric Vitamin C Booster Eye Cream. So this is what that looks like. I think I picked this. I think it's hard to remember when you've like got all these boxes going on and all the shopping, but I love me a good eye cream. This is what the product looks like. And that does seem like a decent amount of product when we're talking about eye cream, if it's full. So no, it's not. It's one of those things where like it's half full. I'll show you. So you see how there's like a huge amount of product missing in there, but nevertheless, it's an eye cream. How much do you really need of eye creams? But I love eye cream, so I'm excited to give this a try. I don't think it has any smell at all to it. So I'll let you know on another day how I like this. But right now I'm already kind of primed and not set, but just I've got a little bit of stuff on so that we could finish off the look with the makeup items in the bag. So I'm not going to like go putting eye cream on at the moment. And next, I know this is something that I did choose. It's by Best Face Forward. It is the Probiotic Blue Light Protection Cream. I was interested in this because as a YouTuber and Instagrammer or influencer, I guess is what the term is. I mean, I don't consider myself an influencer, but that's what they say it is. Um... I spend a lot of time on my phone and in lights. Like right now, I've got all these blaring lights at me so that it can light properly for a video where you can like see what's going on on the other side. So I thought this might be interesting to try. I do have a couple other ones that I got from BoxyCharm and they're like mud masky, but I was interested to try another one. So there is that. I'm not going to open it up and try it right now because I don't need to put it on right now. I'm already moisturized. Now, and next we do have, oh, I was actually really excited about this. Um, this is from Canalogica and it's a facial hydration oil and it's a CBD product. Full spectrum hemp extract containing naturally occurring CBD. I love CBD. I think it's amazing. I have heard stories about it curing cancers and just anxiety, inflammation. Like the list literally goes on and on. I literally have a CBD candle sitting right here on my little makeup desk. I love lighting it and just breathing in the aroma. Sometimes if I'm stressed out and I come down and want to play in my makeup, makeup is my happy place, makeup and skincare. So I will come down to my little studio and play in makeup if I'm stressed and I will light this. And yeah, so I love, 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 love CBD products, CBD products. So I was really excited to get this. I think this is one of the things they matched for me. So they match you with two products. You pick three. This is what it looks like. Another glass bottle with a dropper. Like I said, my stash literally looks like the aisle at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for skincare. Like that's what my shit looks like. <laughs> It smells like lemon and I'm not surprised. I find that a lot of CBD facial products have a lemon scent for whatever reason. So I'm excited for this. This, I, I was really excited to see that they matched me with it. So I'm happy with it. And next we have the other product that they picked for me and it's the Il Maquillage Color Boss Squad Eyeshadow Palette. We're gonna create a look with it. It feels really nice. The packaging is cute. It's got fingerprints because I already opened it up and looked earlier, but it it's like heavy. It doesn't feel cheap. Oh my God, my cat's on the piano. There's a piano right across from where I am and my cat is on it. So I, I'm sorry, you guys. If it's not my kids, it's my cats. Like I can't, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, this is what the palette looks like. I do think it's super pretty, and I have never used any of their eyeshadows in the past, but I did swatch it earlier, and it feels so nice. Really buttery formula, so I'm excited to check it out with the look, and we will do just that as soon as we go through all the other products. 
The rest of the products are add-ons, and this is funny. If you saw my Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing, the one where it was the wrong bag, I mentioned a gold eyeliner that I was supposed to get. I was confused. The gold eyeliner was an add-on that I got in my Glam Bag Plus, and I did get it in my Glam Bag Plus. So this is the gold eyeliner. It's from Araceli. And I really don't know much about the brand, but I love gold vibes, especially in the fall. I'm a brown-eyed girl, so gold, copper, brown, neutral, pink. Those are the type of looks that I really tend to go with when it comes to eye looks. And I love gold liners. Let's do a little swatch. Feels really nice. So... I mean, I, I do have a ton of liners that are gold, I'm not going to lie, but I wanted to try another one. So it was at a really good, it was a really good price point. I want to say I picked it up for like three bucks or something. So yeah. Now I have been hearing people talk about this and I really wanted to try it. It is the Patrick Ta blush in she's seductive. I almost thought it said something else for a minute. And I was going to be like, oh my God, they sent me the wrong one. Like this is getting crazy, Ipsy. <laughs> but it's the right one. It is the she is seductive. And we're also going to try this. I did not wear any blush for the purpose of giving this a try. This is another one where the packaging feels really nice and rich. It doesn't feel like a cheap plastic packaging. And this is the color. I will say that the color online looked a little bit different than what it does in real life. So I'm hoping that it's going to work for me, but we will see. And we've got a couple more products. Next from Tarte, I do have the C Hydro Concealer. <laughs> it took me a minute. Now, this is definitely, I love the packaging on this. Super cute. Um, hopefully, it will be able to work for me. I always go, I know they say to go one to two shades lighter for concealer, but I go more than that. And I do that because I really like to brighten my, my eye area. So, this looks like it will be spot on for color matching, and we will try it out. Also, I got it because lately... I've really got to watch what concealer I use. I can really start looking a little bit crepey under the eye. I'm 36, and I mean, it's not horrible or anything yet, but sometimes if I have the wrong concealer on, I would look better without any concealer at all, if that makes sense. So I'm on the hunt for a really good concealer that will work well for me. I also do have dry skin, so I know that's part of it as well. But yeah, I mean, I've got fine lines around my eyes. I'm 36. So sometimes, like I said, I look better with no concealer, but I have high hopes for this and we're going to check it out. And then last but not least for add-ons from Origins, we do have the Original Skin Mattifying Moisturizer. Now, I love this brand. Um, so I've got some, some different skincare products. I've got the Original Skin Primer that looks like this, which is really a strange formula for a primer, but it's very cooling on the skin. It's got willow herb and so does this. Um, anyhow, I've got several things from them that I really enjoy. So I think I was able to pick this up for like $3. It is a deluxe size sample, but sometimes these mattifying moisturizers work really well for priming underneath makeup. I have one right here from Erno Laslio or however you say that. This is a $170 cream and it is the hydrotherapy gel cream and it's supposed to be like a mattifying cream this is what it looks like one of my favorite creams to use before makeups um because it works like a primer i actually was able to pick this up at my tj maxx for like $30 and it's like $170 cream. So love this stuff. It actually works as though it's a primer and that's kind of what I thought of when I saw this. So I thought it might be something similar and I wanted to give it a try. So that's why I picked that up. Woo, okay, let's breathe and let's create a look. I definitely am, so I'm already primed and set. I primed with my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. I did that in the shade Fair 
because I like to brighten up the area. And then I set it with my Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl that I have been using. This is in the shade Diamond Dust. I have been all over that for setting my eyes. Such a pretty, just light, luminous base to work with. And let's get set up here. And we'll try all the products we can try. Okay, where is... I'm going to light my CBD candle really quick, just for some relaxation. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We're going to relax. We're going to try new makeup. We're going to play in makeup. And I'm going to light my candle just because it gives me all the vibes. <laughs> okay, so looking at the palette... If I can figure out how to open the palette. What is going on here? Okay. So I'm going to, I know right off the rip. Okay, I'm going to take a domed blending brush just like this. And I dropped it. Okay, and I'm going to take my blank slate, blank slate. <laughs> I've mentioned these before, but they are great. Super convenient for in between thorough brush washings. And they're like five bucks at TJ Maxx. So just make sure that I don't have anything on the brush. I don't think I do, but I always like to make sure because you never know. I'm going to go in with this pink right here and I'm going to use it as a transition shade. And I'm not going to do anything. I mean, there's really not much you can do with the palette, but we're just going to test the formula. It's funny. I was going to say, we're not going to do anything crazy with it. But I mean, like, how crazy could you really get with, with that palette? <laughs> but we're just going to check the formula. So I'm just kind of working that right into my crease area. Guys, if you hear my kids up there, I apologize. You know the drill. I've got a one and a two-year-old and it's impossible to be like, hey, I'm filming. Could you keep it down for a while? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so that is a super light transition color. It's really pretty though. Seems like a really nice formula. I think that personally, I would go in a second time. So I'm going to just pick up a bit more, tap off the excess. And that's better than trying to get a dark color right off the rip. Building up is always better than dark right off the rip. Because it makes it so that you can blend it and work with it. But it is pretty. So you can see the difference. It's a really pretty mauve transition shade. All right. Of course, we're going to deepen the look with the outer, deepen the look on the outer edge with the dark color. I'm going to pick a little bit up on another domed blending brush. Now with this, I have no idea how pigment, well, I, I did a swatch, but when it comes to going on the eye, I don't know how pigmented it is. So I'm going to definitely just tap it on the outer edge until I see what we're working with here. Yeah, so definitely a lot darker in swatch, but really pretty. You guys, check this out. My huge BoxyCharm add-on haul for September came today. Add-ons is not even closed yet, and I got my order. Now, they are really getting their shit together with shipping. Like, I mean, there was a point in time where you were lucky if you got your add-ons at the end of the next month. So they're getting a lot better with their shipping. As far as I'm concerned, add-ons is not even closed and I got my first order. 
I placed two this month. One was a rather large one. That video is going to be tomorrow. We're going to go through all the things that I got and create a all BoxyCharm from the only thing that I do not have from BoxyCharm is a can is a um foundation so it's going to be moisturizer primer not foundation do i have a concealer from boxycharm it might be a concealer and foundation that i don't have but everything else is going to be a full face of all things boxycharm and i'm going to go through all of the things that i got in my september add-on order at least the ones that came today so that is actually really, really pretty and easy to work with. This is definitely going to be my go-to soft glam eyeshadow palette for the time being. I love when I get like new stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that first brush that I used, make sure it's clean, and I'm going to dip into this color right here. And I'm going to put it on the center of the lid and just kind of press that color right on to the center of the lid. And then we're going to use the lightest one as well. This formula is beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. Normally, I would have put down like the beauty crop stuck on you primer on my lid to really make the shimmers stand out but to be honest with you it's late and I'm just gonna wash this off so I just kind of wanted to create a look and check out the formulas with you guys so I am gonna take my finger though for the lightest color in the palette because that's how you get them to Wow, that, that shadow feels so nice and buttery to the touch. But with your finger is how you are really, in my opinion, going to get the best color payoff with a shimmer when it comes to placing it on your lid. Such a pretty, pretty color. I don't know if my camera is really going to do this justice, you guys. This is a really pretty soft glam look. Then I'm going to take a angled brush like that. I'm going to go into that lighter color again. I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to just pop some right under my brow. I'm going to focus it really in the arch because that's where I want the light to catch the shimmer the most. And then with what with what's left on the brush, I'll drag it right through my inner corner just like that. Beautiful. That is really, really pretty. Super simple. You guys saw how quick it was. Like, obviously, you got to do the other eye, but like how quick and easy that was for a really pretty glammed up look. I think I will pop, a, even though it's not really with the color story, I'll pop a little bit of this on my waterline. Just to check it out. That's nice. That's nice. It glides on really nicely. I'm going to do the other eye too, but let's just check out the blush. So for blush, I am going to check out the Patrick Ta. She's seductive. And I do have a brush here, but it's got some... What is that that's on there? It's NARS Gaiti, Gaiti or whatever that is. So I'm going to just kind of clean the brush a little bit. And I'm going to pick this up and kind of just tap it right on. Ooh, she is pigmented. I think I expected it to be a little more sheer than that, but that is pretty. Wow, I actually really, really like that.
That's pretty. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's hurry up and it's not gonna take me long to do this other eye and then we will check out that concealer as well. Actually, what I probably should do is just do the other eye off camera and then come back and check out the rest so that way the video is not like 50 years long because I'm already going on 26 minutes. So let me finish the other eye, just the shadow part, and then I'll come back and we'll do the rest together. I'll be right back. Hey babes, I am back. So I finished the other eye and I did this exact same thing I did on the first eye. The only thing that I did different and then I did it to both was I did take the darkest color here and just run it just a bit under the bottom lash line. I didn't go all the way with it. I went about a quarter in underneath with it and then just blended it out. You guys, I am in love with this palette and I promise you that I'm going to be on their website tonight looking for more eyeshadow palettes. Their formula is amazing. I changed the lighting a little bit so that you could hopefully see the makeup better. This was such a quick, easy look to have it so glammed up looking. I'm in love with this. I decided to go in with mascara from an El Maquillage, which is the same brand that the eyeshadow palette is. This is a mascara that I got in Ipsy not too long ago. And since I used the palette, I decided to revisit the mascara. I could not remember my exact thoughts on it when I tried it. And I've learned something over the years. If I can't remember my thoughts on it when I tried it, it's probably not that great. And that's the truth of it. Not my favorite mascara. I went over it with my Tarte Sugar Rush Lash, Lash Smoothie Mascara, which I absolutely love. This is hemp infused. I don't know what that means. If anything, well, I know what it means, but I don't know what it means as far as mascara. But I love this stuff. It works whenever I have messed up my mascara because the product that I use was too wet, too clumpy, too stiff. I like to go over it with this or my Maybelline one and it always fixes it. This is um, one of my go-tos. So their palette, amazing. Their mascara, not my favorite. <laughs> but I do want to go ahead and try this Tarte really quick. This I got on the add-ons and it is supposed to be a hydrating. But you know what? I already have shadow under my, you know what? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Since I don't have a BoxyCharm concealer to use with the whole BoxyCharm face that we're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to try this then because I already have like a bunch of shadows underneath my eyes. Like I brought the darker color underneath and then I brought the lighter color underneath on this side. So we're not going to go there because it could give me a false idea of how this would work with the other, you know, with the other makeup there already. So let's just do a recap of the Ipsy bag. As far as I'm concerned, you guys know that I love skincare, but the Ipsy bags are super skincare heavy. And you might say, Jeannie, you chose three of the items. But the choices that I had were mostly skincare. So for my choices, I chose what skincare did I want out of all of the skincare they were giving me to choose out of, if that makes sense. But they do, I, they do say that they're profile based. And I did say that I love getting skincare. So I guess you really can't be mad at that. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't be mad at that because that's what I told them that I liked. So I'm really actually pretty happy with it, all things considered. I think next time when I use the Patrick Ta She's Seductive Blush, I will probably go in a little bit more light-handed. It's a little pigmented for my skin tone, but I do think that it is gorgeous nonetheless. And yeah, so I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with the bag. Now, I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow and show you my September add-on haul from BoxyCharm and do a whole face of Boxy, except for concealer and foundation will not be from Boxy, but everything else will be. And until then, guys, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you soon tomorrow in my next video. Bye.